All I want for Christmas is room. Room, baby. Hello everybody and welcome to the finale of All I Want For Christmas Is Rue. This is the final episode, as you can see we're up to 93,000 coins and two other players are still selling. This is a few hours after just the previous episode. As you can see the variety sold in 4 and 2 and 2 in a composition for 28,500 coins and the Musa sold for 2,900 coins. We're still waiting on the Borgia Garcia and the k Alf to still sell. Um, and we have 93,000 coins when them two players sell, I think we'll have a little under 9 or 99k, somewhere around there. So that is going to be awesome. But anyway guys, I'll be back when I've bought a batch of players. So guys, I've gone and picked up a load of silver players as always, and I'm going to make some nice profit of this, maybe even up to the 120k um, mark, but hopefully not, and hopefully we can get another batch of players to get the Rooney. Um, but the first player is um, Gonzalez, which we've got before. This one in the right forward in 4-3-2-1, bought for 4,500 coins. Hoping to sell that for around 5.5k, maybe a little bit higher depending on the market. But right now the market is a little bit messed up. Sometimes I'm searching for players um, it's in certain prices, and then when I move up the price, they disappear. And then when I get move up again, new players appear. It's very strange. Um, I don't know what is up with the market. I don't know if it's, it's certain players that it's doing it mainly with, um, and it's kind of frustrating me a little bit. But hopefully it doesn't matter that much. The next player anyway though is, is Cam KL. Not in formation, but it doesn't matter. Bought for 3.5k. Hoping to sell that for around 5,000 coins. This guard didn't. Or Guardian, don't really know how you pronounce his name. Um, usually goes for like 600 coins, but he's converted to a CM, and he's like the only CM on the market um, for 10 up until like 10k. So I bought him 2.8k. Been on the market for like three minutes, so um, I don't really know what I'm going to do with him. Hoping to, hoping to get around with a K off him, maybe a little bit more. We'll see what we can do with him. Next one is Angua, um, right back, 4321, 7.4k on a buy now. Hoping to sell it for around uh, 9k. Um, Cam Brown in 532, not in formation, but it doesn't matter again. 2.8k we paid for him. Hoping to sell it for around 3.5k, maybe to the 4k mark. We've got the right forward Richards, or usually in a right wing or right mid position. But we're going to convert to a right forward in 4-3-2-1, so that is in formation, or 3-4-1. 3-4-2-1, sorry. Uh, both for 3.2k, hoping to for around the 5,000 coin mark. Next one is Mackie Stevens. Um, both for 4.5k in a left wing position in 4-3-2-1. Kind of information that's going to get yellow. Um, but hoping to sell that for around 6k, somewhere near that. Next one is a right mid for Musa in 4 one 2 one 2 both for 3.5k. This was more, one of the main players that messed up. I saw a load of them cheap and then they all disappeared. So I don't know if this is going to be a good buy. Hoping if the, if the market is kind of stable as I saw it, hoping to make around a few hundred coins off him and maybe a thousand coins if we're lucky. Um, but we've got another page of silvers here. We've got the left forward Samaras 4321 um, both for 2.9k hoping to sell him for around 5k. Um, of course he was he was on a buy now as well which is pretty lucky. We've got um, Delufo uh, which we never got before I don't think but he's um, usually a left mid or a left wing and um, we've got him converted to a left forward in 4321 bought for 2.6k. He normally goes for 4k his normal card so I'm going to probably try and get 5.5k out of him maybe a little bit more. We've got the right back Wilkshire um, at 4 we've had him before many times, but this time we're going for 3.5k and in a 4 that's a very, very good. Hope to sell for around 5,000 coins. We've got the left mid at Delufu um, for 4,000 coins. I think we, because he's in left mid, he converted from left wing. He was actually in left wing normally. Because, but because he converted to a left mid, hope to sell that for around 6,000 coins. And at the Borgia Garcia and the KL didn't sell that round, and so we're going to put them up again, and I'm going to put these players up, and we'll see you in a second. Okay then guys, I just wanted to cut in the commentary here, because I've just come across, I don't know, a problem or an advantage, but basically, if you know, I bought Musa literally just an hour ago, um, a 3.5k on a buy now, and if you look now at the market, you see that people are bidding 44k and everything on these players, and there's no buy now, it's less than 50k. I don't know what's happening with this. I really don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm going to put mine up at a 48k by now, I think. And if he sells, then that is a huge advantage. But um, really, right now, I don't know what's happening. I don't know if someone's hacked and just buying this player. Because there's no reason. I, ha I can't find a video, say, in case I've done a beast video or anything like that. And the, the player's just price just shot up. So um, I think it's an advantage. I'm going to put mine up for... Um, 50 or 48k and see what happens but yeah I just wanted to inform you that I'm going to be doing this um, I don't really know what's happened it's not me by the way if you're thinking it's me <laughs> so yeah I'm just going to go and sell these players so then guys all of our players have sold apart from two um, the Borgia Garcia went for 2,000 coins I don't think we made a loss on him but we didn't make that, mu that much Castella Gonzalez went for 7,000 coins KR went for 3,600 coins Guardian went for 5,000 coins we made a nice like 2.5k profit on him Angbuam sold for um, 8,900 coins I think we Bought him for like 6.3k. Richard sold for 3,500. Um, another Mackay Stevens sold for 6,500 coins. Uh, Musa sold for 5,000 coins. I don't really know what's up with him, if it's price or anything, but we managed to sell him for 5,000 coins in that 4 1 2 formation. He sold pretty fast, so 
Um, yeah, I just really don't know about him. So <laughs> if anyone does know what happened, just please do tell me what happened with him. Um, but Samurai sold for 5,000 coins. That was the left forward one, I believe. Um, Milkish Wilkshire sold for 5,000 coins. We bought him for about 3.5k. One of the Delafords went for 3.5k, 3, 3 and one of the Delafords went for 6,000 coins. And you can see a KL is still selling, and a Brown is still selling, and they have a few minutes left. And I've gone and picked up all these players. I think after after we'd sold all them players, um, I think we had just a little under 100k. So I'm hoping to make that profit and we, we will buy Rooney at the end of this episode. So as you can see, I've got this Molinaro here in 4 2 um, for 3.5k. Hope and sell it for around 5.5k, maybe 6k because of his good formation. I've got this right forward Dos Santos for 13750 Now That is a really good buy in my opinion, and I'm hoping to sell that for around the 18,000 coin mark. Um, i got this striker um, in form this Sutter. Um, I got him for 22,500 coins on a bid. He'd been on the, on a buy now, sorry. He'd been on the market for um, about a few minutes, and yeah, so I'm hoping to put him up for around 25,000 coins. I don't want to push it that much because I think he's a fairly recent one, so you know, you could, a one could pop up and try and beat your price. And um, we've got this sense forward sour, um, not in formation, but bought for 11,000 coins, and I think I could probably make around 1,000 coins or 2,000 coins off him. Got this left mid Piate for 2,700 coins, hoping to sell it for around 4,000 coins. Got this a cam edder 352 for 5,500 coins. Um, I think I can sell that for around 1,000 coins of profit. Um, we've got a left wing Piatti for 5,400 coins. Hoping to sell that for around 7k. Got this Wagner for 8,000 coins. I hope to sell it for around 9.5k. So across all these plays, hoping to make around 1,000 coins. And I just want to say, just before the end of the episode, guys, I'm going to announce um, something as a continuation for this series about Rooney. So please do stick around. It'll be Christmas themed just for a few days, I'm thinking. And you guys, and you guys actually get to choose what I'm, I'm going to do. So just stick around till the very end of the video, please. I'm going to go please play this up. So I'll be back in a second. So guys, here we are. Everybody has sold. A little side note is that the, the, the Dos Santos went for 19,000 coins in that um, left forward position, or was it right forward position? Um, I just accidentally pressed, pressed Y on him, so he went from my trade pal. Sorry about that, but he was a nice like 6,000 coin profit, which was pretty awesome. But as you see, the Molinaro went for 6,000 coins. He was in a 4 one 2 one 2 so whoever could then back to a 4 4 2 was very silly. At least I think he was in 4 one 2 one 2 um, The Ida went for 6,900 coins. The pe um, the Piatti went for 7,500. I think we bought him for 5k or somewhere around that mark. Fagner sold for 8.7k. We bought him for 8k. Not the best profit, but still profit. And um, the Distutter sold for 25,000 coins. I think we got him for around the 23k mark, somewhere around there. The Sour went for 13k. We got him for 11k. And um, the KL went for 3.7k. We got him for 3k. And um, the Piatti went for 5,000 coins. I think we got him for around the 3k mark. And Brown went for 3.3k. And that means we're at 126,000 coins. And that means we can go into the mark it and search for a Rooney and buy a Rooney and then that is this series actually done I can't believe we're actually gonna do this but uh, I've got the search conditions already here as you can see 123k one there um, Rooney there is a 121k one there and I think we're gonna go for the cheaper one um, is 123k one I think we should go for the cheaper one guys and get by this one so here we go we're gonna buy Rooney and that is it it's done. <laughs> this is pretty crazy that we've actually got Rooney. I, I, I haven't completed a series yet in FIFA 13, and this is a, a series completed where, we, where we've actually traded all the way to Rooney in how many how many episodes? Is this six or six or seven episodes. Uh, but anyway, now we have Rooney. What I wanted to say was. I'm going to do a series with Rooney for Christmas, um, just to continue it up until Christmas. So, I was thinking either Rooney's Christmas Hybrid or Rooney's Road to Christmas. Um, the Rooney's Road to Christmas would be just a normal like, Road to Glory, but I don't know if that would be a bit boring. So, I was thinking more, I was leaning more to the Rooney's um, Hybrid or Rooney's Christmas Hybrid. So, then we just build some hybrids around, Chris, uh, around Rooney and have some fun with him and see what he's like. And, you know, get, kind of get like five episodes out between now and Christmas. And then that'll be a nice um, addition to this Christmas series. So if you want that, please comment below. I need your feedback. I really want your feedback on this. So I might leave a comment down there if you can thumb it up and tell me with a comment and everything. And tell me how much you've enjoyed the series. So please do leave a like, please do leave a rating, guys. It's been an awesome series. Thank you so much for the support on this. Um, I just never thought it would be good. I, I knew it would be fairly good, but I was not expecting anything like this. It's been absolutely the funnest series to do for a long time. And I absolutely love trading. And I can't wait to do some more series like this in the future. And anyway, guys, if you're not here, subscribe for more. And as always, I hope you have a great day. Please do leave some feedback for me. So thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.